These are the best ube cookies recipe. They're soft baked with sweetened coconut shreds and we do not need to use ube jam to make these absolutely delicious. Ube is a purple yam from the Philippines and everyone who's tried these cookies told me that these are the best ube cookies that they have ever tasted. And that's probably because I worked on countless batches of ube cookies until I got the perfect texture and flavor. The best part is it's got less sugar compared to other cookie recipes. It's super easy to make and it is a great dessert to bring your family and friends together. Let me know in the comments, who are you baking these cookies for? And it could totally just be for you. Let's get started. The ingredients are gonna be in the description below. I highly recommend that you use a handheld or stand mixer because you're gonna need some time to fluff up these cookies. And please use a scale and measure out your ingredients. It's really gonna make a huge difference in the overall taste and texture of these cookies. Get the scale right now. No more putting it off. You'll end up using it more often than you think. So we're gonna start with room temperature butter. Not melted, room temperature. And then I like to add organic sugar. It's less refined compared to standard white sugar and it just makes me feel better about eating these cookies. Once you've got those two in a bowl, you're gonna beat these together until they're nice and fluffy. That's gonna take about a few minutes. So while that's happening, you can go ahead and entertain yourself by getting the dry ingredients ready. I highly recommend sifting your flour so that you don't get any lumps in your cookies. Then you're gonna add baking powder, baking soda, and salt. And then you're gonna mix these together while you're sifting. Now we're gonna add sweetened coconut shreds. If you do use unsweetened coconut, that's fine. Just make sure that you use the ones that are tiny little shreds. Otherwise, the experience becomes kinda of like chewing through cardboard. <laughs> I give credit to my sister's boyfriend, Graham, for giving me that description. So going back to your butter and sugar, this is what it should look like after you beat them together for a few minutes. Fluffy, pale, and the sugar has fully dissolved into the butter. Now we can add one room temperature egg and one teaspoon of ube extract. Check the description below. I have a recommendation for the type of ube extract to use for the best flavor in these cookies. Now just give these a few minutes to beat together. Again, we want it to be nice and fluffy and scrape the bowl when you need it. Once it's fluffy and fully incorporated, you can add half of the dry ingredients into the bowl first and then slowly mix these together in the lowest setting. And then you can add the rest of the dry ingredients slowly and turn off the stand mixer just after they've all mixed together. You do not want to over mix this. Just scrape the bowl to pick up any flour left at the bottom and then just do a light little mix. And then there's your dough. Okay, you could bake this straight away, but you really can taste the difference if you just let it chill and sit for about an hour. I highly recommend it for the best flavor. I also recommend using an ice cream or a cookie scooper to have evenly sized cookies, and they can also bake evenly. So I'm just gonna stick these in the fridge or the freezer for about an hour and then we can bake them. So after you've chilled the cookies, you can stick them in a fully preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven or 175 degrees Celsius for about 12 to 15 minutes, depending on if you chilled them in the fridge or the freezer. Also, try not to overcook these. Take them out of the oven just as the middle of the cookie looks like it's about to set. It'll continue to cook outside of the oven for a little bit and that'll give you that delicious soft bake ube cookie. And here are our ube cookies. 
So you can make a bunch of these and then stick them in the freezer so that you can have freshly baked cookies on demand to treat your friends and family with, or yourself. Also, I found that it's a lot easier for me to make friends when I've got these soft baked ube cookies on hand when I'm meeting a new person. So, little tip for you. <laughs> Try it. All right, well, I hope you try making these cookies at home. They are possibly one of the easiest cookies that you can make. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you can continue to watch more delicious food videos that I release every single week. And also, tell me in the comments below who you're gonna be sharing these cookies with. It's also absolutely okay to just eat them all yourself. It's fine. Thanks for watching, my friends, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!